What's up, family? This is your man, not your boy. Go black to Africa. So we are here in Cambridge, Maryland, in Dorchester County, where our famous Harriet Tubman is. Now, I am down here with my wife, and we're checking out this area, as well as the so-called Underground Railroad Museum, and also the Harriet Tubman Museum, that I am dispelling, putting to sleep, the so-called crazy notion that Harriet Tubman was fictitious. Now, let's go on down the trail here because, you know, Harriet Tubman um, has accomplished a lot. And, and here in Cambridge, you know, they had a place called Pine Street. It's one of the first, uh, it's the first black community during this time after slavery that many people started to thrive. Okay, brothers and sisters were thriving. I mean, you had all kind of things that they had, whether it was, you know, businesses, you know, people had bakeries and, you know, whether it was shoes, barbering, doctors, lawyers, they had it all here in Cambridge. But interesting thing, though, that really that most people know about this area is our beloved one, Harriet Tubman. And Harriet Tubman, you're going to find in a couple of more of my videos that I'm going to do is that, you know, she's done a great thing besides just freeing slaves. This woman was powerful, you know, but to also give credit to her dad, which you will hear in some of the videos, that she basically followed his shadow and was taught various things in order to equip her to be able to navigate through to uh, get slaves into the so-called newfound land or the land of milk and honey, which they would call heaven, which was not only in Pennsylvania, but even as far as Canada. Now, Harriet Tubman, you'll see that she also was known and was accredited by the military because they leaned on her expertise as being a scout as well as a spy. And because she was very well equipped in knowing the landscape, the area, she was able to blend in with our people and crossing the lines to be, uh, to be able to uh, watch, see, scout, spy on the enemy. This is noted in the general um, letter that mentioned Harriet Tubman and what she was able to accomplish. Later down the line in her life, she also went for trying to get a pension for her service to the military. And so you look that up, you're going to find that there was a, a, a great big movement of her trying to get her pension for that accomplishment that she did. Now, as we go down the line as well, you know, you see Facet, who is, who is a known uh, physician that was here in the black community on Pine Street. Uh, they still have his building here and uh, a very well-known physician that was back in the days in a thriving black community. Now, let me say this right here. For those who know me, Harriet Tubman is my greatest hero. And because the sacrifices that she made to one, be free of herself and to be able to go back into slavery and reach people to be able to take them to a land that was freedom. It was a selfish act that she did that I have always taken note and what actually I will contribute to go back to Africa. The acts that I am doing and showing Africa and being a bridge between Africa and America for our people to see that the lies, the narratives that have been shown in Africa I am reaching back out to our people. You know, Frederick Douglass, Frederick Douglass was also another one who mentioned uh, Harriet Tubman in his letter uh, in where he said, she is reaching people by night while he is reaching people by day. She, his voice is being mentioned by the so-called bringing out the slavery and the, should be the embellishment of slavery while she was doing an act of bringing people out into a freedom. So you also can find his writings mentioning Harriet Tubman. 
And so I want to bring to you all and expose the lies and to put to sleep the lies that Harriet Tubman is a fictional character, which is far from the truth. There is more and more evidence that I'm not going to even sit here and mention that I can go over, whether it's in Auburn, New York, where she is, uh, her gravesite is, whether it is where she had um, built a, a senior living per se there in Philadelphia. She, her mark is left all in the, up and down the coast here in America, all the way to Canada. And so you find even the abolitionists who were going to jail, who were arrested, they gave her credit as well as being the one to be able to help and assist those who were enslaved into the land of freedom. So family, my feet are on the ground. We are here in Cambridge, Dorchester, or Dorchester County, Maryland. And so that I say, if you wanna know the truth, you're gonna to have to get off of that couch, get off the internet and go see for yourself, speak to the people Look at the documents so that you will not be listening to those who has an agenda to smear our sheroes and our heroes. Those who have made great accomplishments. But first and foremost, the most important thing was that I give to Harriet Tubman. It was not her per se. It was a spirit of a greater creator who gave her that bravery to be able to go many a times back into areas of slavery to go get people to bring them out. And so I'm thankful that that spirit that many people could feed off of today by us who made these accomplishments that did not stand by and allow slavery to happen, we were active and battling against it. So when you hear people talk about there was no Nat Turner, when you hear people talk about there was no Harriet Tubman, Put that to sleep. Get up. Go see for yourself. Dig into the libraries. Look into the books. But most importantly, what I do is look at the witnesses and what the witnesses say. So I thank each and every one of you all. This is your man, not your boy. Go black to Africa. Think about it. 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 Think about it.